Brad Johnson here from Johnson.audio, and I'm going to continue in my Pro Tools versus Logic series. And today we're going to discuss virtual instruments and loops. We're going to do a side by side comparison with both Apple Logic Pro's virtual instruments and Avid's Pro Tools 12's virtual instruments to help you decide what might be the best off for your Mac, because obviously Logic is Apple only. I am going to move forward now. So, right now I am in Logic. I have an instrument track here. To open your virtual instruments, you're going to go to this little area here, hit the down button, and you're going to have a folder open up. And Logic is super cool because it has lots and lots of virtual instruments that come with it. You have Alchemy, which is just going to be um, a super just tweakable synth. You can do all kinds of stuff that's built in effects. Um, you can do arpeggiations. Here's the effects area. You can stack different sounds. It is quite a beast. It can be a little daunting to use, but there's a lot of great presets. We have Drum Kit Designer, which I'm going to get back to here in a second. We have an FM synth. We have an Ensemble synth, Monophonic synth, Polyphonic synth. We have other of these synthesizers that are just, again, um, just beast of a synthesizer. You really kind of need to understand a little bit about synthesis and how it all works to create your own sounds, but it is very, very tweakable. A little daunting at times. You have a vocoder. We have a sampler. We have a analog retro synth. We have this really cool thing called sculpture, which is like a modeling synth, and it models like string sounds and mallets and that kind of stuff. We have our drum machine, the Ultra Beat. Then we have a B3 organ, a clav, and then the electric piano. So we have a lot. And then we also have this drum machine designer, which you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with. Don't forget there are presets with all these. It's usually a good way to start. You can open up this area and go and take a look at everything. So Logic Pro has a lot of virtual instruments. It's almost overload, if you ask me. It's great that they have all these, but it can be almost too much. All right, I'm going to go over to Pro Tools, and we're going to take a look at Pro Tools Virtual Instruments. So right now, you would have to create a virtual instrument track, and then you would select it by entering or inserting a plugin, and it would be under Air Music Technology. And the ones that we have down here is we have Boom, which is going to be the drum machine. We have DB33, which is going to be a B3 organ. We have mini grand piano. We have structure free, which is a sampler. We have vacuum, which is an analog monophonic synth. And we have expand two, which is going to be um, the, it's the very customizable synthesizer in Pro Tools where you can stack sounds and get all kinds of crazy stuff going on in here. Very, very cool. Um, as you can see, Pro Tools isn't as expansive as Logic Pro, but sometimes I feel like having a little bit less options helps creativity. But really, I love Logic Pro when it comes to virtual instruments. I always have Pro Tools a little more stripped down, but they do sound, I mean, it sounds great. Now we can kind of go and see how this would work. I have Xpand on here. I'm going to hit Control Equals, and it's going to open up the piano roll here. We can select our pencil tool, and we could just start drawing in notes. We can stretch them. You can do all kinds of stuff, and you'll see that we have sound. And if I hit Option Equals, it opens up a MIDI event list, and I can actually um, make adjustments to my notes if I want to. I can do all kinds of stuff manually if you want to do that. You can also do editing stuff down here where I could do MIDI volume. You can draw stuff in. I could go to Pitch Bend. I can draw stuff in. And you can do all kinds of stuff down here, like this kind of like automation, but in the MIDI realm. So you're just affecting the MIDI parameters. And that's going to give you that kind of flexibility. If I head back over to Logic, I am going to go ahead and just select. I'll select this harpsichord. I'm actually going to open up my window here. And you can hear the harpsichord. It's the same style MIDI editor that you saw before. And again, I can just go ahead and start entering in my notes. I can do quantization. I can actually go to the key here, so that way I can only 
I could select everything and just quantize it to D major if I wanted to. You can mix with velocity over here. And then here's global editing that you can do. That's kind of like the main window here. If I click on this, it opens up this piano roll. We'll get rid of these windows. And I can do this right here is gonna be MIDI draw. It's gonna be very similar to what you saw over here in Pro Tools. And again, you can affect all different kinds of parameters. Again, you can just draw it in and make stuff happen. We also have this step editor where you can affect different parameters and notes. And one other thing about Logic that's super cool that I wish Pro Tools had, but it doesn't, is drummer tracks. So I'm gonna go up here to track. I'm gonna create a new drummer track. It opens up this drummer track. I'm gonna hit Y to open up my library. And you can choose different style drummers and different drum kits. And it will actually give you drum beats. It's super cool to be able to just kind of throw down a drum beat over stuff that you're doing pre-production for. You could probably even use it for your actual productions if you want to. It's very customizable. So I'm gonna move on to loops because there's a few things about this right here that you can kind of copy in Pro Tools. I'm gonna to show you how to do with loops. So if I go over this loop area over here, you're gonna find all the loops. You can do all the genres, instruments, moods. These are all of Apple loops comes with so many it's nutty you can just drag and drop them into your session as you see fit bam i'm going to go over to pro tools go over to window we're going to go to default work spaces and this will open up a window where you can select loops from your hard drive i'm going to go to library audio and I can use Apple Loops, I can use Avid Loop Master, so I can use all kinds of stuff in here. And if I go to Apple Loops, I can actually go to the drummers and I could throw in drummer tracks so I could listen to it. So you get all those different drummer ideas. You can't customize it like you can in Logic, but if you're using it just for pre-production just to get an idea down, you can um, use it in Pro Tools. So that's pretty cool. So the loops are over here. In Pro Tools, you find it by going to the folder in your on your hard drive by going to the workspace. All right, so that pretty much runs the gambit for the virtual instruments and loops. As you can see, it's again, very, very similar. It all comes down to workflow. It just depends on what it is you're looking for. Logic definitely has more options and varieties when it comes to virtual instruments, but um, I kind of like the fact with Pro Tools that it has similar virtual instruments and can do a lot of the same stuff, but doesn't give you so many options to kind of overwhelm you and slow you down. But really, I have used Logic for virtual instruments for a long time, and I've really liked their virtual instruments. When it comes to loops, there really is no difference. You can use all of Apple loops in Pro Tools, um, so there's really not much of a difference there. As you can see, it's really at tomato tomato right now when it comes to the two DAWs. All right, I hope you got something out of that. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions, um, any thoughts that you'd like to add. I'd love to hear from you. If you got anything out of this, please give me a thumbs up. I hope this video series is helping you decide what's going to be the best DAW for your Mac. Pro Tools versus Logic. I am Brad Johnson at Johnson.audio, here to help you sing your story, mix your mission, and master your message. I will see you on the next video. Bye.